All right, just wanted to make a video addressing the claim that I'm an Islamophobe or, not, or that I'm Islamophobic. I've been accused of that. I've been accused of Islamophobia for quite a while now, and I wanted to address that claim uh, people who would call me Islamophobic or who would call Bible-believing Christians Islamophobic. So first of all, we need to define something. We need to define what is Islamophobia. So according to Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, Islamophobia is an irrational fear, aversion to, or discrimination against Islam or people who practice Islam. So basically, if I was an Islamophobe, that would mean that I would have an irrational fear or an irrational aversion to Islam. Okay? I will say this, I do have an aversion to Islam, but it's far from irrational. My aversion to Islam is based on God's holy scriptures, particularly John chapter 3 verse 36, John chapter 14 verse 6, and Acts chapter 4 verses 10 to 12. Let's go there in the Word of God, the King James Bible. John chapter 3 verse 36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John chapter 14 verse 6. Go there in your King James Bibles, John 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. In Acts chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which is set at naught of you builders, which became the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Okay, my criticism and aversion to Islam is based on the fact that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and Islam rejects that. Islam rejects Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Now, I'm not saying that because I hate Muslims. I don't hate Muslim people. Okay, my criticism of Islam is based on a biblical premise. It's based on the premise of Jesus Christ being the Son of God and God manifest in the flesh. Okay, the fact that Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation, that's my basis for the critic my criticism of Islam. My criticism of Islam is also based based on the basis of reality that Bible believing Christians are persecuted and killed on a near daily basis in Islamic countries. Um, there is nearly a daily persecution of Christians in Islamic countries and even in Western European countries that have lots of Islamic migrants. It's it's like Christians are being killed on a daily basis. It's a daily thing happening where Christians are being attacked and killed and churches are being burned down and, and you know they're being forced to convert to Islam. And again, it's a nearly daily basis, and the media doesn't even cover that. The media barely even covers this persecution. Now, I want to give some examples of actual Islamophobia. Okay, you got the Westboro Baptist Church. They're an example of what actual, you know, Christian Islamophobia is, because they go out there with their signs. They got signs saying like, you know, Muslims die, oh God laughs, and that kind of stuff, and all kinds of wicked stuff. Uh, you got them holding signs, you know, being provocative, picketing mosques, and just being very, just being overall making, get, basically just being essentially a Asian provocateur type behavior being playing the role of the Asian provocateur going out and with, the, with their vulgar signs and their provocative signs picking fights with Muslims and going out see that's what actual Islamophobia is actual Islamophobia is what the Westboro Baptist Church does you see criticizing Islam from a biblical basis is not Islamophobia because it's not an irrational aversion to Islam okay what the Westboro Baptist Church does with their provocative signs is irrational it just it doesn't do any good for the, the cause of Christ and it's just simply Asian provocateur type behavior just going out to pick a fight with the Muslims to just make them mad and then they're gonna get mad at you and it'll just make it harder to give the gospel to them okay that's what actual quote-unquote Islamophobia is if we're going to use that definition of an irrational aversion my aversion is based on a biblical standard that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation and when I give the gospel to Muslims, I'm not holding up signs saying, oh, you're prophets of pedophile and, you know, you're going to burn in hell, that kind of stuff. I do tell the Muslims, you know, that you are following a false religion. Allah is essentially a pagan Arabian, Arabian moon god, and Muhammad was a false prophet. But I do it in a loving manner. First, Second Timothy chapter 2, verses 22 to 24 should serve as a rebuke to the Westboro Baptist Church, who are a complete violation of that passage right there. Also, First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12 is another good verse that should serve as a rebuke to the Westboro Baptist Church and their provocative display towards Muslims. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly address that. Just address the foolish claim that I'm somehow an Islamophobe. No, I don't hate Muslims. I'm not doing this because I hate Muslims. I want to see them get saved according to the grace of God, the gospel of the grace of God, as per 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4 and Acts 20, 24. 
You see, they are following a false religion. Allah is a false god. Allah is just a pagan Arabian lunar deity. Okay, so don't try to lump me in with with the West World Baptist Church or some of these other provocative Reuben Israel and those types. Okay, they're just agent provocateurs. I do believe they're just going out to try to make Bible believing Christians look like fools and idiots via their just agent provocateur type behavior. I do believe they could be a psyop. I have a couple theories on that, and I will be doing some videos exposing the West Road Baptist Church as the satanic Calvinist cult that they are. Uh, so stay tuned to that. I'll be coming out with some videos exposing their heresies and exposing uh, their just agent provocateur, psyop type behavior, and just exposing their wicked Calvinist doctrines. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I'm not an Islamophobe. I don't have an irrational aversion or fear. I'm not afraid of Muslims, okay? I want to see them get saved. If I was afraid of them, if I you see, if I was Islamophobic, I would just stay home and let the Muslims go to hell. But I go out and I give them the gospel because I don't hate them. That's simple. So no, I'm not an Islamophobe. So just wanted to address that foolish, ac foolish accusation of calling me an Islamophobe because I've been accused of Islamophobia, Islamophobia for so long now. Islamophobia is just simply a word used by social liberals to try to shut down any legitimate criticism or biblical criticism of Islam. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.